Hi students, go ahead and take a, um, your notebook out. You're going to take Cornell notes on volts, currents, and resistance. As always, don't forget to write the dates on the right-hand corner. And then you copy what you see, and then don't forget the questions on the left, the summary, and the advanced question at the end. Summaries and advanced questions are always worth more points because it's actually you reflecting on what you just heard. And then, of course, this is just copying for your reference and to think about it. Okay, today we're going to do it in the style where I'll do a little lecture first, and then all the notes will be shown at the end. Okay, let's begin. So in a previous lesson, we talked about circuits. Circuits are where electrons can flow in a path, and usually you have different parts to the circuit. Usually you have your energy source. That could be photovoltaic panels, batteries, and so on. Usually the uh, circuit is uh, composed of wires, and the wires are conductors like metals such as copper and then they're wrapped with insulators so that you don't have short circuits and then you have uh, things that do work like it's called the loads like a radio a lamp a microwave and so on so why do electrons flow there's three parts to this there's voltage current and resistors these three ideas can be complicated uh, sometimes to understand fully so think of it really, uh, think of it as water. Wa uh, if you think of electricity as a flowing water, it might help you understand it a little bit better. So think of voltage as like the pressure that's building up through the pipe. That would be representative by how much water you have, let's say, in the tank. That could be like a battery. Current is the water flowing through the pipe, which represents the electrical current. The more pressure there is, the more current you get. And that's usually represented with electricity, with amps. And resistor is the diameter of the pipes that restricts the water flow. So let's look at each one of these individually. So voltage. Again, think of it kind of like pressure. So a 12-volt battery would push those electrons with more pressure than, let's say, a 1.5-volt battery would. So these uh, Vs represent volts, and that's how much pressure you have in that battery. When it comes to a current, which is measured in amps, think of it this way. Think of it how many electrons are flowing a certain distance in a certain amount of time. And when it comes to resistance, that's measured in ohms. So let's say the pipe, which is the type of gauge that the wires are made of, and also the uh, materials that the um, wires can be made of, affects the resistance. The so resistance is the ability of the electrons to flow. So in this pipe, let's say the electrons can flow with more ease than this pipe because it's restricted here. Well, if you've never seen the different types of wire gauges, this one here obviously is thicker and would have less resistance. And these are a strand that's wrapped in thinner uh, pieces and that won't have more resistance. And sometimes it depends on the device because you don't want to have um, too much or too little because it can fry uh, the other uh, parts of that circuit. So less resistance. And the type of load you have, of course, affects the resistance. So some devices need more resistance and some need less. Okay, that's uh, the, the end of the lecture part of this video. Go ahead and copy the notes now. This is a good time for you to pause the video. Here's the last part. Pause the video, copy the notes, and then uh, do your uh, reflecting with a summary and advanced question. Have a good day.